You know, a lot of times when people try to talk about the role and place of women in gaming, we tend to come off sounding like we're standing on a soapbox, and today I hope to change that. Let's get right down to the bare facts. Right now, in this industry, women are not treated the same as we are. That's a fact. We don't have to like it, but we do have to admit that that's the reality as it stands right now. Now, does that mean every male gamer is some snarky frat boy asshole? Of course not. In fact, it goes more than of course not. The answer is hell fucking no. There are plenty of guys out there who understand that game can be all-inclusive, who understand that women have a place in gaming and it's right there shoulder to shoulder with us. However, it should be noted that the reason these videos exist is because of a very vocal minority of our community. A group of people under the impression that women don't have a place among us gamers. This discrimination has a light and heavy side. And while I'm saying one of them is light, it still has a very negative effect. The light side of this discrimination is mockery. You see it whenever women are trying to talk about gaming in an intellectual way. I have personally seen women literally shouted down while trying to merely express their own opinion about a particular game they enjoy. More than that, I've seen women in the industry basically be treated as if they were only there because of their looks. This not only degrades them, it demeans all of us by making women assume that we are these same assholes. It not only makes a woman feel like she's only there for sex appeal, it makes her feel like her opinions are not only being unappreciated, but in fact, aren't welcome. When you do this to a woman, you know, you know what, in fact, there's a video clip that perfectly cements how this would make a person feel. That is beauty. Beauty is heart. Beauty is soul. Hmm, time for a wardrobe malfunction. Bold. Beauty is you, beauty is me, but beauty is nothing if a woman's not free. <laughs> Exactly, after a metaphorical dressing down, it not only makes a woman more uncomfortable in the situation she is in, but it would do the same to us guys, think about it. At that point, you don't want to put yourself out there anymore because you're just, you know you're going to get mocked, you're going to get put down, you're going to be insulted, and you're going to be embarrassed. And you don't want that, nobody wants that. And the worst part about this is that when you want to, if you see this happening to a woman, you want to jump in on their fence. Yet, that again is a double-edged sword. Because there are many, many times where the woman can handle it herself. They don't always need that knight in shiny armor reaction that we all have from time to time. And run me through your eyes. Keep your eyes on me, boys, because I'm about to stop. That, in fact, can in some cases make a woman feel worse. Now, not only has she been put down before she could set herself straight, someone else had to run in and get her back. I know personally in my own life, when someone jumps in on my behalf when I don't need them to, I'm almost as pissed at them as I am at the original person, and I'm sure many women feel the exact same way. Men and women are not so very different when you think about it. But that's just the lighter side of this storm of negative bullshit. And on the heavy side, you have these fucking people who send death and rape threats to female developers, female reviewers, and other women who gain. Now to be clear, you all know my feelings on death threats. To anyone, it's unnecessary. It's insane, it's fucked up, and it makes us all look fucking terrible just because these people are in our community. Until we start plucking these weeds, the garden of gaming will forever be choked out by these fucking people. And you know what, that's not even about women people doing it against women, that's against these people in general. I use the example of it happening to women because it happens far more often, and far too fucking often. What we need to focus on are death threats, rape threats, bomb threats. These are very real, and they do hurt our community immensely. And I for one cannot stand these people making our entire community look like we're a bunch of backward thinking, 19th or 20th century assholes. We need to be looking to the future and trying to advance our community rather than still fighting these same old fires from yesterday. 
Now, confronting them is but one part of how we solve this. The next part of how we solve the way women are treated in our industry is frankly to point out women who have done great things for our industry because they're out there. It can be simply as simple as a, as a friend of yours who started a podcast or who's the chief of staff of a gaming website. That's all it needs. We need women to be somehow put up on that same pedestal we put on people like, like Miyamoto or we put on people like the head of IGN. Or we put on people like Jim Sterling. We need there to be equality because it exists. It just isn't talked about as much. And in fact, here's one other thing we can do to help the relationship of man to woman gamers. Don't immediately assume because you're making a quote unquote dirty joke, you're going to offend every woman you see. Again, men and women are not that different. They have senses of humor just like we do. And this is a lesson that took me the longest to figure out. Cause I've always tried to be a gentleman when I talk to a woman, and you know what? Sometimes you gotta crack a joke, you gotta try to relax and have fun. As soon as you do, you realize you're really not as different as you thought. Let's strive to make gaming happy and fun for all of us. Until next time, my name is Vega Goose saying keep calm and game on.